we kind of done a double trip. So we wanted to see the solar eclipse that happened in 2017 and do some field work. So the day before we had the solar eclipse that we got to see, the next day we went out and we found this. I was basically just wandering through the desert, as you do, <laughs> and I walked up onto a little outcrop and there was this relatively large jaw just sitting there. I really, I could have tripped over it. It was just right there on the surface. And then a few feet away was a humerus. This is a jaw that's like bigger than myself. So it's a big creature. And what's amazing about it is that based on the teeth, it has um, what we call bunodont teeth, which are very characteristic of artiodactyls. So this is a giant artiodactyl uh, in the Eocene when they were supposed to be really teeny. We got really excited about it. So we kind of knew that it was something important because we had never found an artiodactyl this big. And so we brought it back and we started studying it. I took it, specimen, to the world's expert on ateliodonts, which is a fellow named Scott Foss. And he's like, no, but this is something really, really exciting. It didn't have a lot of the features that you see in those guys. This is something completely different. And it belongs to a group that he had written a paper on that's really poorly known. And they're called the Hyoheids, or the sun pigs is what that means. And these are a really rare group that are found in North America during the Eocene, and they're the first of that lineage leading on to pigs. So we had something that was very similar to that, but it was different from that as well. And so we figured it was a new genus, new species, and it belonged to this really poorly known family of early pig relatives, extending all the way back into the Eocene. The genus name means sun pig, which we thought was fitting given that um, you know, we had just watched the solar eclipse. And then the species name our daughters came up with. It's the Egyptian god um, Apophis, which devoured the sun. So we thought that was really fitting. And they, they totally came up with that on their own. Like, I didn't even know who Apophis was. <laughs> They've been reading some mythology. So um, we were like, perfect. And it sounds cool. And you gotta, you gotta have a cool sounding species name, or I mean, what's the point? <laughs>